What's going on guys? It's your boy BPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about Destiny 2 and what we know so far. But if you guys enjoyed the video, do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support and it really helps out. Okay, so if you ain't been in the loop, as I know many of you ain't, over the past 24 hours there has been a little bit of info regarding Destiny 2. Legit info, none of these Reddit fake ass bullshit leaks. Okay, so yesterday was Activision's earning report and investor call. And the little info we got out of it was actually enough to keep us going a little longer. Okay, so first up we got this coming straight from the Activision's earning report. This is what they had to say on Destiny, a full Destiny sequel in 2017 to broaden the franchise's global reach, which along with follow-on content plans, sets the stage for growth. Now this is a relief to a lot of people as it's been rumoured for quite a while that Destiny 2 may be delayed until 2018, which would have been shitty. But I guess we all come to the conclusion that if it was delayed, at least the game we would be getting would be a full game instead of what we got with Destiny when it was released. Basically what seemed to be an unfinished title. Also it states a full sequel to broaden franchises global reach. Pretty much confirming the game will come to PC, which I suppose is pretty damn epic. Might actually be the first PC game I actually part money with to buy. Next up we're going to listen to a snippet of the investor call in regards to Destiny. But I want to state before we do, the real MVP is the dude who asked the question regarding Destiny 2. So whoever the fuck you are, we love you. Now take a listen. I think you got 300,000 Redditors to breathe a huge sigh of relief when you confirmed Destiny 2 for this year. Uh, could you say, could you give any indication of whether you expect that in Q3 or Q4? And then could you talk about what you and Bungie learned from Destiny 1 that's informing the design process for Destiny 2 and your plans for post-launch content. Thanks. Uh, hey, Tug, it's, it's Eric. Um, yeah, I think the best thing we can say about Destiny is that the development is going great and is, it is indeed um, uh, on track for release uh, this fall. Um, as for the particulars, um, we've got a, a reveal, a big reveal plan. I'm going to let the game do most of the talking, but um, I'll, I'll give you some broad strokes. Um, I think that our team and our, our great partners at Bungie are doing a very nice job on two fronts. Um, one is if you're one of the millions of players who really invested in Destiny 1 and have put a lot of hours and passion into that game, you're going to love this game and there's a lot more of what you love here. Um, for anyone who either hasn't yet tried Destiny or hasn't played it in a while, we think we've made a game with uh, the sequel that's going to have a lot for them to love too. Uh, the cornerstone of that is a great cinematic story that's been a real focus with a great cast of memorable, relatable characters, uh, coupled with some very nice ways to make the game more accessible to a casual player. Without losing anything that our core players love, um, we've made it more accessible to someone who just wants to have a great, more casual uh, first-person action experience. Uh, we're also going to introduce Destiny to um, a number of new people. Uh, by going to some international markets that we haven't uh, been in before. So I'm going to leave the, last, but the rest for the reveal, but uh, we're very excited about the game, and uh, it'll be coming this fall. So you heard it from the horse's mouth, that horse being the CEO of Activision. He stated, Destiny 2 is on track for release this fall. Now me and many other people do think it will be September time due to Activision and many of their other titles coming out towards the end of the year, like basically Call of Duty, November times. He also states, basically, if you were a year one player and put a lot of time into the first game, there is plenty of what you will love within Destiny 2, which I suppose is what we want to hear. But he also states, if you are a new player to Destiny or ain't played it in a while, there will also be a lot to offer you within Destiny 2. He goes on to say there will be a great cinematic story with a great cast of memorable, relatable characters. He basically goes on to say that this game will offer something for us hardcore players as well as offering something for the casual players. Now this is the way Destiny 1 kind of turned towards year 2 and year 3. It kind of took away the grind and added a much simpler system of earning that loot. Now whether or not this is what he means with Destiny 2, we will wait and see. Now to end this discussion on this call, I want to talk about one of the first things he states. We have a big reveal plan, I'm going to let the game do most of the talking. What is this reveal and when will it be revealed? I'm actually guessing we might see a little something within the next month or two. 
hopefully anyway. It sounds to me though like all is going to plan and in my opinion I can't wait to see more. Okay so moving on and quoting Kotaku and Jason Schreier who is a known and credible source when it comes to early Destiny information. He states the following. Although some of the folks behind Destiny 2 might crave more time to add content and beef up the game, here's an interesting bit of news to consider. If Bungie misses this year for Destiny 2, Activision is awarded a hefty chunk of the independent studio's stock, according to two sources familiar with goings on at Destiny. Bungie employees stock vesting schedule is also based on game releases, including Destiny 2 which gives a major incentive to get the sequel out this year. Fans have been worried mostly due to the lack of news regarding Destiny 2 and coming to the conclusion that Destiny 2 might be delayed out of this year. But consider this, with the first Destiny, Bungie started talking way too early and wound up showing a number of features and plot points that never actually made it into the final game. This time they want to avoid those mistakes, which means we likely won't hear about the game until closer to launch. The roadmap will likely include a Destiny 1 Spring update, then a Destiny 2 reveal with a launch of this fall. They've got a lot of people on this one, from what I hear, at least three other Activision Studios are working on the game in addition to Bungie. Destiny 2 is also coming to PC and will likely be a total overhaul so don't expect to bring your Destiny 1 gear with you. So this pretty much guarantees Bungie will get that game ready and released this year. I'm just hoping they do not fuck it up by trying to rush it if that's the case. And he's right about them holding onto information. I mean, look at the effect it did have on Destiny 1 and the negative publicity that came with the release of the game. People straight up knew that it wasn't the game they've been talking about and advertising to us were not in full anyway. The one thing I don't really like the sound of is the way he states for us not to expect to bring our hard earned gear over to Destiny 2. That, if true, will be a shame, but I'm pretty sure this is something Bungie have considered pretty heavily and I can't wait for them to confirm this matter. But yes people, Destiny 2 is on track for this year and I cannot fucking wait. In the meantime, I'd expect a few more updates to come with Destiny, but mostly this year I'm guessing will be spent playing other games until something great drops. Next week we have a Crucible patch which I will cover through various weapon testing videos while basically me playing PvP and getting owned as per usual. But until then guys I will have you covered on any new info that drops regarding Destiny 2 or Destiny 1 or absolutely anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for stopping by as always and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right Left in the dark